Okay, back again with two lovely fellas here who know about the mirroring. Um, I have Travis, who's the Plain Truth Channel, and Wide Awake. Hello, hello, hello. What ho? How are ya? And hello, y'all. And Delaware Wide Awake's already South. ready, aren't you? Wide Awake, and you're Central already ready with the picture. Yep, we're in Central Florida here on the West Coast where the water is calm. Um, in the Gulf of Mexico, where I'm at, um, the water is very shallow for a long way. So that's why I get this really unique uh, um, observation field that I get. And uh, on days where there's great visibility, as you look at this picture out here, um, the rack, um, which is actually a beacon light to the left of the screen, um, right on the edge. Um, that's 3.5 miles away. And uh, let me see if uh, I actually have a a picture or a video of where my camera was set um, at that time. Um, let me see here. This one might. Um, hang on one minute. I got to push this up here. Um, this might kind of show you. This is uh, one camera. This is my uh, B700. And this uh, island is 4.84 miles away. And at the height that I'm at, I should not even see that island. <laughs> it, should, it should be well below uh, the curvature of Earth. Uh, but obviously, you can even see in the screen here. Um, this is a little, this little cut that you see right by that channel marker. That channel marker is uh, probably a mile away um, from that island. But look at the little sliver of water that's between there. Now, we talk about angular resolution. But when you have uh, great visibility, not only am I seeing that cut, um, and there's just a little bitty piece of land in between there. Um, and that's what, David. you know, I, I say visibility is the key, right, Travis? I mean, you understand that. Yeah, um, but listen, yeah, great ability. can you hear me? Yeah. I I am really nervous for your camera right there. Are you, are you, have you ever, like, almost come close to knocking that thing in the water? Nope. Nope. Good for you. I kind of hover you. around it, too, when people are out, yeah. out and around. I was like, I was watching you. I was like, man, he's got nothing uh, anchoring that thing down. <laughs> That's good. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, visibility. Yep. Yep. Yeah, look at this. I mean. And somebody's going to tell me that this is uh, being refracted just because there's some distortion in it. They they say, oh well, that's being you know it's being pulled up from behind the curve. No, you if your camera cannot see the object, it cannot have an a, optical yeah. effect in in the actual camera itself. Yeah. So you are really seeing this land, and you're actually seeing. Can I uh, a cut can I jump face. over to can I share my screen real quick and just piggyback on what you're saying? Yeah, um, let me um, hang on okay. one minute, Travis. I okay. wanted to show. Uh, I'm just going to write myself a note so I don't forget. Yeah, I wanted to show some of these pictures, and I might have to click through a few of them because um, I know a couple of them were blurry. I didn't get a good focus on them. Um, but here again, um, now normally, I mean, you see this. Uh, can you see my cursor? Yeah. Okay, you see the horizon here. And I'm, I've always said that when I use my uh, virtual horizon line on my camera yep. and get it and, and get it perfectly level and put a level on it, um, the horizon line usually comes up to right around uh, the very top of that pole. And here this day, I, I pretty much get it. And people will say, well, what's this? Well, there's always, always a little bit of mirroring. And that's what I call this right above this, um, this, you know, little piece up here is probably just the mirroring of the sky above it. So right here is probably your, your horizon line, um, say right around in here, just above the top of that rack. Um, and this was the day, um, I mean, you can obviously see what's, what's going on here. You, you've got a, uh, the horizon just keeps extending and extending. Um, 
uh, what I want to get to is, oh, right there. Um, that is Cutter's Rock. That's 11.22 miles away. And I, I do believe this day I had my camera down below the seawall because the tide had went out. So I got actually down below the seawall. Um, but let me click click through some of these and get to. Uh, hey, uh, Dave, just as you're doing that, uh, maybe next time, I, I don't always use the uh, the artificial horizon, but I wonder if you could get a camera shot of what your viewfinder will show you, and then you can see and overlay it maybe to show what the what the camera sees, but then what your viewfinder presents because I use the grid myself. Yeah. So there's a there's a nine square grid, and that helps me to frame a lot of the shots that I make rather than the horizon like you use but i'm just asking you i wonder uh if you could take a snapshot of that once that way you can have uh, a picture to show anyone like this is what the horizon appears to be with the camera the camera's telling me this is where the horizon should be but then look what the the actual image is yeah like you were just showing us yeah yeah um normally normally on days like that um well You've seen my pictures of that same bird rack zoomed in where yeah. it, it's cut off and you yeah. can't see it yeah. and it's mashed, it's squashed. Um, but this this was that power plant that was, uh, it's 27.6 um, miles away. And on, on this particular night, I mean, this is all in the same day. On this particular night, I had just excellent visibility, as you could see from the daylight shot that I was doing with the B700. Um, you literally see the, the top of the building here. You see the um, cooling towers here with the other stacks. Um, <laughs> now, one of the things is, too, is I've tried to line up um, in the same place that I was at the same night that I've taken this. And everything, um, all this land that's right here, there's a lot of land in between me and this power plant. But all this land seems to either be magnified up or compressed down and sometimes all you see is right here on these stacks you don't see David this would, you, power plant. would you have one of those available to bring up what's that uh, do you have a shot like that available to show to show the different yeah oh yeah I've got uh, that was a good one go back one that lighting was different. Yeah, I I brought the light up on. Yeah, it. look at that. That's a great shot right there, man. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you actually see the lights in the yeah. in the damn uh, parking lot, you know, so, in this place. Yeah. So yeah, that would you say that was twenty seven miles away? Twenty seven point six miles away, and guess how high my camera was? Uh, well, they, holy shit! I mean, hold, first of all, can you drop down your? Um, your information and show me what the file information is to see what the zoom is. Is that is that 357 zoom? No, go to your three buttons. You could have you could have just done it on that picture. Just open the picture back up, David. Okay. You want me to do it on the picture? Yeah, yeah. Okay, scroll forward on the one that you had that was that nice uh, shot. Uh, was it that it? Uh... Uh, no, it was a lighter one. Another one. Another one. Oh, that, I think that might have been it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one, that one. So just go up to those three dots, drop down, and go to file info. Oh, that's not even full optical zoom. Okay. No, 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 it's not. It wasn't full optical. Wow. Well, you know what's funny about your question is if I showed you a shot of, uh, uh, New Orleans from 27 miles away. That would be a, a nice comparison. But um, yeah, I, I would say, what do you, would you ask me what your height was? I'd say 10 feet. 30 inches. Shut up. No, this, this, <laughs> uh, uh, I am laughing at the sheer amazement of that. I would not have guessed you were that close to the ground. That is in. Incredible.
Yeah. Um, and here, let me show you this one. Wow. Um, because I decided right at the very end, um, let me see, let me see this one here. Um, see, I kept that one wasn't very good at all, but actually that might've been it. Um, hang on one second. This has to be the, the pictures that I took. Um, well, wait a minute. These were highlighted. Let me see. I know one of these. I went and took my, um, yeah, right here. Um, this one, I actually had this little notebook pad with me. It's about an inch thick. It's plastic. So I laid it on the ground right next to the water at, at the height of my B, P7, I mean P1000, right? I laid it on that thing. Water was just at the very edge of it. And I took this picture at like four inches off the water. Yeah. That's the same. Well, as, yeah, but see, that's, you see, what's crazy about that, David, that's a little bit about. There's your 30 inches. Yeah. That, that is touching on the point that I've been talking about. If we could get a dream team of investigating photographers and researchers, we would have to go to different locations to make observations like say for instance what what i would love to do david is to have you take these photographs at 27 miles here and then i would duplicate those those same um observations with a 28 mile observation at uh new orleans so then we should compare the results that we get and that would be you know a fantastic uh aspect of the research but one of the things that i remember have happening when and I, on my channel last week i put out i think three or four videos where i cut up the entire time of my uh it wasn't a debate but i went on to uh tim osman's uh stream he's out in utah allegedly and he does a lot of drone footage on the um I don't think it's Salt Lake City. I don't think it's the Salt Lake. It might be, but one of the locations there in and near Salt Lake City. And he he's just coming at me saying, why are my observations different than yours? Why am I seeing this? I'm like, Tim, you live in Utah. You live in Utah. It's arid. You know, the, the air is not the same as it is in Maryland. It's not going to be the same that it is in Florida where you are, David. It's not going to be the same that it is in Ventura, California. So this is what people don't seem to understand. They don't seem to understand that when you, you can't just take a snapshot of a ship cut in half by what you think is the horizon and think that that is the prove all. Because if you gave me all of the information in terms of putting a ship out there at that distance, blah, blah, blah. If I went to a different location, found a ship at that same distance, I would guarantee you with a kick to both shins with pointy boots that my observation would not match yours. And if they don't match, that's a problem for the globe. It's a problem for the globe. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I agree. Well, take a look at that picture. You see a difference? <laughs> Look at the land, the, the land mass itself. It, yeah. it, it, it looks much huger, right? Because it's getting magnified. Yeah. And when an object gets magnified, it, it, it magnifies up, down, left, or right. And oh, no, it, David. Oh, no. Oh, no. Refraction, too, David, refraction only happens vertically, bro. <laughs> and then, too, the farther object, which is the towers, right? They're being magnified. So they're, they're being they're magnified up, down, and yeah. outward. Yeah. So in turn, you're getting yeah. this this pull down effect where it's pulling everything down farther beyond. Yeah. Uh, okay. Look, the opposite, right? That's exactly. Yes. That's exactly. Yes. 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 I'm gonna let you share your screen. Um. Let me see. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how well I'm gonna do this, but um. <clears throat> one of the things. <clears throat> one of the things that you said. <clears throat> 
Let's see. What am I doing? Oh, no, I'm not sharing my screen. I'm going to go on camera. Uh, so I'm going to go on, I'm going to go on camera, I think. So, okay, look. So one of the things that you said made me think about this, right? So this is obviously not going to be to scale, okay? But one of the things that you said was that uh, on the observation out to that island, someone would say, well, that's looming. That, that refraction is bringing, you know, this part of the observation up. So in, in their world, then, the, you know, there's a bend to, there's a curve to the earth. But the problem with that is, and I'm sorry that I can't do, a, a you know, this great justice. I can picture it. Okay, so you're, you're on one part of this bend and the observation's on the other. And then looming simply flattens it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what they're trying to tell us, right? Science. Right. Right. So looming makes it look like it's flat. Right. But the problem with this is, is that if you have this uh, setup in your observation, when there's no looming, you still see this distant object out here, which means that from that object to you, there's a, there's a trough right? Because you're here making the observation, the earth is curving away, and then that part's being loomed up because you shouldn't see it because it should be down here. But you only, and then, and then you, and then when it's looming, it looks flat. Oh, that's oh, only when it looks flat is when you got great visibility. That drives me absolutely. <laughs> okay. When, when people say that, I say, how much field experience do you have? Well, yeah, that, that would be a good question because most people go out and they do a, a day or two of observation, right? And they see this this effect where it looks like everything's curving, right? Everything's being cut off bottom first. So there they go. There, there's my proof. And that's how I started out, Travis. I, I really did. I went out and I, my first observation, um, I went down to a place called Green Key Beach and I was zoomed out to an island um, called Anclote Island, and it was being cut off, and boats beyond it was uh, being cut off low to the bottom. So I said, oh, man, I here I got the proof. I'm going to go home and make a video and, and debunk these flat earthers. But when I brought it home and put it on my computer screen and started looking at it, I, I, I saw these optical effects that were like, hmm, you know, wait a minute. Before I go and stick my foot in my mouth, I think I better do some more observations and do them um, every day throughout the year and see what I get. And uh, again, when you get one of those days of good visibility, you go, wow, uh, something's, something's going on here. Now, I've had days where I've had good visibility to just like five miles, you know, where I'm seeing five miles, like plain and simple. But I noticed that some of these observations that I was doing, like the boats, appeared to be much closer to me. In other words, they, they looked like I was zoomed right in on them, but I knew that they were out quite a ways. And then other days where I had like the 11 mile visibility, I zoom out to the boat and it's like, wow, this boat does look smaller. But look here, I'm seeing the entire boat in the water at a long distance. And you know, I can't say exactly how far it is, but I can pretty much tell you, it's well over what I should be able to see at the height that I'm at because I, I've been doing a lot of low observations at 28, 30 inches. Um, well, and I, I've even put my tripod in the water and, yeah. and taken video at 15 inches above the water. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, one of the things that I thought of uh, while you were talking about putting your camera close to the water this is what I've done. I don't. I don't really do a lot of uh, shots close to the water. Um, I mean, it does uh, have an interesting perspective to it, and I think it, there's a dimension to it that's that's to be appreciated. But um, anyway, if you ever do that again, and you have to get down on the water, uh, do you know what a lazy Susan is? Yeah. Okay. I went out and bought myself a lazy Susan. And for those of you who don't know, I don't know, um, Karen, do you know what a lazy Susan is? Karen's, Karen's out on a smoke break. 
We got Echo. We got Echo. Echo, 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 Echo. <laughs> okay. Well, for anybody who's listening who doesn't know what a Lazy Susan is, basically it's a it's a um, dinner table uh, tool that is um, uh, a rotating a rotating dispenser. You know, you can put your salt and pepper on it. You can put your napkins on it, and it spins and rotates on a base. Well, I bought one of those from Walmart, and I put it on the ground. And then I could level it, and then I have a perfectly lateral swivel left to right with the camera. And you're off the ground, just an inch or two, and you're not right there, you know, in the dirt or whatever. So, David, if that if that works for you, I would I would suggest maybe uh, you know spending fifteen bucks and buying a lazy Susan that you can uh, use that way. But um, yeah. Let me let me share my screen real quick because I want to kind of piggyback on what you were just saying, David. I'm and back now. Sorry, I just couldn't get my button off, so I had to do it on the computer one. That's why I echoed. But I'm... Oh, no worries. No oh, worries. I'm just supposed I, to be I, in I, my I dressing just... gown. <laughs> <laughs> With glasses on, looking my worst. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's no worries. No worries. You know, Travis, I've, I've watched a lot of your videos on, um, what do they call it? The app? app uh, this this arc arch right uh the anna kappa arc yeah anna kappa that's what i was looking for yeah. um i've watched a lot of your videos on this and i've seen other people's videos where um they've been pretty low to the water and and it was like wow what a crystal clear day and you could see that arch perfectly well you know what's interesting about that david it depends Depends on where they're at because where I am, I'm 19 miles away. Yes. But but if you go down to Port Wyneme, your uh, parallax, you know, your your location changes and you're closer. So they can get down uh, closer to the ground from their location. So right. it, it, I, I've not, you know what? What's interesting is I've not, I guess maybe I've spent so much time trying to produce my own edits. Uh, that I that I've never really looked to see what other people have put out there for for Anna Kappa, but um, am I sharing my screen? Yes. Okay. So you know, David, you were just talking um, a bit about uh, you know visibility and elevation. All of these images are are taken from the exact same setup, exact same location. So my position is is not different in any of them. Now, I made this panel because I, I, I was trying to figure out why I was having a 357 reading and a 428 reading. Okay. So the 357 reading is the uh, basic extension of the full optical zoom. And David, I'm sure you know, what, what color does the bar turn when you go to digital um you know i think it's blue yeah it's blue okay so what i find interesting about this is is that i never shoot in the blue anymore i never go to digital ever so i was like why why does 428 show up why does 357 show up someone said it's because you went into digital. But the problem is when, you, David, there's two things that happen when you're zooming out. First thing is when you get to full optical, your camera physically stops. You can hear it and feel it stop. Okay? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And then the, yeah, and then the second thing is it stays white if you are at 357 full optical, optical zoom. If you go past that, it'll turn blue. The, what I'm gonna say is, whenever I go to full optical, I never go to blue. So there's still a hiccup here in the 428 and 357. I'm sorry, but all of that to say, these are all full optical zoom. I pushed my camera, all the way to the physical extension of the lens and 
the white designation on the viewfinder. Even though the metadata will tell you that this is 428 and this is 357, these were all taken at the same. Oh, yeah, at full optical zoom. zoom. Okay. All right. Sorry for that long-winded explanation. Oh no, it, it, and I understand. Um, you know that it, it is part of that camera's um, the way they've set that camera up. Um, now I don't know if the camera itself is picking up um, an, another like um, I, I don't like to call it lensing or looming. I, I basically just call it optical magnification. Um, and and it might be it's tricking the camera itself into That's thinking. That's exactly that what I was thinking. Yes. 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 Good. I'm glad you said that yeah. because Karen, you've got two geniuses on your show right now. I don't know if you knew that or not, Karen. But uh, you might as well call this the two oh, genius shows. I show. did. Why well, I want oh, okay. to have a hangout, isn't it? <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, exactly, David. I'm so glad you said that because that was my like. I'm sitting here going, "Why is this? What is going on?" And then that's exactly what I I deduced. Where I was like, "Well, the camera must be like just trying to go." I don't know how to compute. Cannot compute. Cannot compute. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's jump back into this because uh, David, I don't know about you, but even when someone looks at your photo and says, "Why is that blurry, man? Why are you taking?" You're like, "That is the most beautiful shot you could ever imagine." I absolutely love this hobby. Love oh, I it. I, I've got a passion for it. You know, I started this back in like 2016. Yeah. And like I said, you know, uh, you know, I, I wanted to really debunk flat earth, but after I started seeing all these different optical effects and studying these optical effects and even the word um, mir mirage, where does mirage come from? It's actually from a French word, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it actually means mirroring. It's a mirroring effect. Yeah. Um, yep. So when they say it's a mirage, a superior mirage, inferior mirage, Fata Morgana, Morgana, uh, yeah, it it can get confusing to people, and they basically use that confusion to mind um, screw people. Actually, I, I I call it mind screwing you. Yeah, 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 yeah. For uh, sure, for sure. Um, believe us, we're the experts. You don't have to do nothing. Just Except what we tell you. That's right. We and have. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're we're both uh, wearing uh, white robes right now, right? We're both scientific. Uh, well, let me let me just jump into this real quick, okay? So, the the thing that like like you said, David, right? You had to go back. You went out with a camera, but then you noticed something that made you say, oh, "Okay, look, I've got to look at this again." <clears throat> so for me. Something like this is what made me realize that there was more going on because if this is full optical zoom and I'm in the same place, why is the horizon here, here, and here? We have three different positions for the horizon, right? Not yeah. only, n not only that, David, and and everyone else out in the audience, but we have three different presentments of the island. Now, here we have the arch. Now, if you, I, I don't do the math. I don't give a flying smurf. If you are out there and you want to geek out on this math. And, and help me out or help David out, by all means, do it. I am not going to do the math. But what I will tell you right now is, this arch is 40 feet high, 40 feet high, and this is 20 miles away, okay? Over here- You shouldn't, you shouldn't see it at all. I shouldn't see it at all should not see it at all. Why shouldn't you see it, Travis? 
Well, because if you think you live on a ball, <coughs> that 40 feet is gone. Well, yeah, but, then the, but that, all the refraction is bringing that up. Right, so now it, now it looks flat, right? Now it looks flat, whatever. Okay, but here we go. So you can see clearly right here at the top of my pyramid, at the top, well, uh, let me not call this. Th this, is my, this is my perspective distance uh, overlay. Okay, this is my perspective distance overlay. Right at the tip, is the eye of the arch. Can you see that there on the left image? Yep. Okay. Right here is the eye of the arch. Oops, I hate it when that happens. Okay. Now we have this little blip right here, which is another physical rock on the water out here at Anacapa, okay? Yeah, you, you the picture in the middle, you see how, um, how compressed the top of that is? Yeah. Compared yeah. to the one to the left? Right, well, I mean, look at, you know, so you do have compression here. Oh, yes. You do have compression, but look at how short the distance is from vis visibly from the top of the arch to what you might think is the water. And then look at this distance. What, what's going on here, David? What, why, what, what's going on here? Yeah, mirroring, okay. mirroring. Now, look at the topography. You see how flat this is? <laughs> yes, that's what I was talking about. It's like cr cr uh, and crunched then, down. And then, and then look right here. It goes up and up and up and, and then right and here. See the little tower. <clears throat> that's the that's lighthouse. the uh, Anacapa lighthouse. Where is it over here? Where is it? I know where it's at. Does anybody know where it's at? Tell me when you think I should stop. Where should I stop? It's going to be right in there, or maybe a little more to the right. It's I I would say right here. Yeah, that's looks about proper. Okay. But but sorry, I was talking. I was talking. I don't know whether it will come through on the on the actual hangout because you know they always blur it a bit, but I could see just a little bit sticking up there. Carry on. Sorry. I just say. Uh which which one, Karen? The middle image? Where you had it before. I was actually going, stop, stop. <laughs> there. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, good, good. Yeah, good. Okay, so part of uh my thesis and i i started to uh work on my website uh this week more i've got content on my website right now it's just a you know a few pages worth but but my working thesis is this okay this um this shape here is my handy dandy depth perception illustrator and, and what I mean by that is, is that we are looking, we are looking over distance in real life. In this image right here, in all of these images, this is two dimensional. There's no depth, there's just height and width. Okay, but in real life, well, in real life, we look over distance we don't look up but in these images i have to look up because it's just a flattened two-dimensional surface surface with height that is this part is higher than this part and this part is right to this part so this is height and and width no depth now there is depth here because we do live in a three-dimensional world but the image itself is just two dimensional. So that's that's what I'm trying to point out here. But this representation of reality is I am looking into the distance 20 miles and I can see this uh arch. Okay? Now I got to get back get my uh triangle back. 
handy dandy depth perception. Now, it's the same thing here, but we've got an inferior mirage. So just like over here, looking into the distance, looking into the distance, looking into the distance, boom. When we get here, the baller's mind glitches. Curvature, curvature. I, I see curvature. I see curvature. <laughs> why else? Why else would the water end here, my friends? Why else would it water? Why? Why? Oh, uh, uh, because of course. Look, sky, 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 sky to the baller. Sky. No, my friends. No. At this point right here, you are no longer looking at sky. At this point right here, the mirage begins and you are looking at a mirage. You are uh, looking I don't know at a mirage. Happened here. It looks like I lost my my uh my hard drives or something. Man, if that happens, I'm gonna be ticked. Because I can't pull my files up anymore. What that's just happened? Yeah. Yeah, right after I closed Did the... your did your computer freeze up? Did it freeze up? No, I'm able to watch uh, I got I got uh you guys on here still, so no, it uh, I guess didn't so. Freeze yeah, up. Right. yeah, I guess so. Huh. Just but doesn't um, seem right. Hmm. So okay, so right here. You know, we've got the arch, but below this, we've got sky. What, you know, what's going on? This is like what David was talking about. I'm like, what, what am I seeing? Like, what is this? Okay. This is a mirage. Now, when you look over here, my default was at the beginning to think I'm looking at 100% island. I know the island is out there. Look, it's it's over here, right? It's over here. And it was over here, right? I am looking at one, oops. I am looking at 100% island. No, ma'am. No, sir. Right here is where the mirage starts. All right, so let me do this. Is that uh, line? So basically, up? it's the same as what Wide Awake was showing us in his pictures with that line going on it. It's just that once you realize it's there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that is that uh, stark enough? Can you see hey, that? Travis, yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? Um, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Because I, I thought for sure I seen videos from you uh, with much better uh, visibility of this uh, uh, arch. Oh, sure. And and the um, lighthouse too. I mean, you've had. Oh yeah, yeah. Yet. Oh yeah, yeah. But see, what's interesting about that, and I can pull that up in a minute. You know, we we can tag team back and forth. If if our, how's your hard drive situation? Um, I, I shut it down. I'm gonna um, you know, pop my hard drives out and drop okay. them back in. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could show you other images that would be like, there's no way you're looking at the same island. But yeah, so. Here is where I would place the, uh, what is called the vanishing line. Now, I like that term uh, because it, it actually is very descriptive of what happens. This section of Mirage has vanished something. And what it has vanished, I'll show you real quick, right? Let's do this. Oh. I'll keep that, keep that there. Uh, let's do this. You see this distance right here? I'm going to mark out that distance right there, right there, that distance right there, right? So uh, if you can see, I'm going up the water, up the water, up the water, the water stops, and then you've got the apparent uh, base of the island and the arch. That is all right here. All of that space, all of that information is all right there so if i go back over here 
it's water, right? Everything behind my, um, my graphic, right? Everything behind my graphic, I'm covering up with my graphic water. That's the same thing the Mirage does. So, this space right here is. Can I say something? Is, when yes, you think about it, when you think about it, that's almost crazy that 27 miles away, it's reflecting in the water like that and causing a mirage. And I also think, like, you know when you've got a puddle of water on the beach, it's right next to you, and when you look in it, you can see all the clouds and the sun miles away in it. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, the optics, the angles, perspective, all of that. Yes, it's absolutely just amazingly crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, what I, what I also look at, too, um, because I've, I've got – really nice spot for uh you know sun departures um over the gulf of mexico and you know some days you'll see this perfectly round sun get close to the horizon then start mirroring at the bottom literally the the light lifts up to from the water up to the sun which is just this mirror image right and uh it just kind of blends into its own image. And then I've got some that, you know, where again, where I have really good visibility, like I just pulled one up on my screen and yeah, I got it working again. Um, and you actually see the sun actually go oval shaped. It, it gets squashed, like, yeah. you know, yeah. And, but it literally almost looks like that bottle cap flipping away from you. Like it's, it's flipping out. Um, in other words, it's completely different on those days of good visibility compared to those heavy days of mirroring. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely. How's your uh, hard drive situation, David? Good. I got, I got it back up. Phew. That's good, then. Yeah, I, I lost the hard drive one time when I did a live stream um, and right after the live stream, it was dead. I mean, I lost the whole thing. Um, and that was one of my uh, first uh, hard drives. And I was I was ticked because I lost uh, uh, Georgia Vacation um, and a lot of Flat Earth video, um, a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, Karen, is, is there anything you want us to, to talk about that, I mean, you've talked to us both before. Is there anything that you've, you've thought about uh since you've talked to david or me that would be helpful for us to maybe uh unpack well it's 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 on topic but it's not on topic um you know who enslaved by no media is do you, don't you i know the channel like you know what i actually haven't seen uh anything come up so i wonder if i've been unsubscribed no by, uh, I, don't, I don't know if he's still he's going he got very upset well, before the Lyris, he got very upset because he got so attacked. But I was watching some of his stuff a few, a few years ago. <laughs> Excuse me. I, you say attacked. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, him and uh, I know he said some nice things about me, but he was one that attacked me back in the day um, when they were all hanging out with Q&P and it was uh, enslaved by no media. Um, and there, there was another guy Lambert or something. I can't remember his channel name, but I mean, it, there was like four of these channels that were all, you know, we're, we're Christians and who say, oh, you, you show or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. You know, and, and then they come and attack me. One of them actually wanted to beat me up, you know, and I'm like, really, geez, come down here to Florida. You know, we can, you know, have a mutual combat. I don't, <laughs> if you want to go that route, I don't have a problem with it. But you know, to to, to attack well, maybe, me, they maybe maybe he's did not show me that they were Christians. Yeah, well, they've got egos, haven't they? But maybe he said too much as well because he was saying a lot of stuff. But he was. Yeah, but I I do remember from watching that, I did enjoy what he was putting. Out. He would say, like he'd stop the car and he'd say, "Look, 
I'm say I'm not saying this is exactly it. I'm just giving an example. I'm 13 miles away. Look at the size of the buildings. And then when he got closer, the trees stopped him ever seeing the buildings and everything was much smaller when he got closer. Right. And then when I went, because often to get your visions, I mean, obviously you like the water as well, but you film it over water so you can try and get those pictures. But I went to Silbury Hill and we walked around it and then we were standing back at the car park. It's a video on Sun and Moon, on San Fu. And we're back at the car park and we suddenly went, look at the size of the pyramid. It was absolutely enormous. It looked, I remember that. Looked, I remember that video. It looked four times the size it was. And then we walked back up to the fence and there it was. I'm not saying it's small, but the size it's in, it's sort of like three times the size. But at the car park, it was almost like, wow, look at the size of it. Yeah. And um, yeah, we couldn't. So it's happening on land as well. And obviously we don't realize that. Yeah. Yep. That's true. Hey, that David, you're, uh, you're getting in the water. It's the same thing on land. It's just maybe, you know, you've got to notice it or people have got well, to. Well, you know, um, I, I am hopefully going to be able to spend a couple of days out in Utah at the Bonneville Salt Flats on my way out to California at the end of this month. And that's going to give us an opportunity. The Salt Flats are just, um, you know, miles and Travis, you should Miles. try to get a hold of uh, Taboo Conspiracy. I believe he lived. There. I will. Right. I will. Yeah, the last time I went through, it was two last minute. He couldn't make it. But yeah, I'm going to give him a heads up and uh, would love to uh, collaborate with him on the Bonneville Salt Flats for a couple of days. Um, and uh, yeah, Karen, exactly. To see what, uh, what other things that we can compare uh, happens on... Uh, on the land that'll be great i love these shots these are, this is amazing this this shot that you're showing right now is just beautiful. yeah I, I mean i i love this this uh particular sun departure and i, and I do call them sun right push pause that. please david pause yeah yeah push pause now I, i'm just going to ask you uh, just just for the sake of argument, okay, just take what I'm saying for the sake of argument. Which part is physical and which part is not? Oh, um, well, you know, we don't even really know exactly what the sun is, right? Right. I mean, do we know that it's actually a physical object? That's why I said for the sake of argument. Right. Um, you know, I, I would say if, if I was to say anything was more, more pronounced, it would be the, the top part here. Okay. Um, but as you know, as you'll watch this, it really never goes below the horizon. It just gives you the illusion of it. Um, and, and that's what I've always said about the sunsets. It's just a, a very large object, right? A very large object light object that is just going farther and farther away to the point well i don't want to say to the vanishing point but it actually disappears into the um okay if we want to make it you know simple atmosphere okay into the dense um weather conditions um yeah. it's not disappearing over a curve right so Look at, the, look, look at the look uh, at the the bottom of your image there. You've got the reflection off of the water, right? Oh yes. Okay, so that's the reflection off the water. If you go take your put your mouse right underneath the moon or right underneath the sun, yeah, right there. Okay, everything below your mouse is the reflection off the water. Now go right up to the sun. Boom, right there. That is in the air that's not the sun getting distorted that is a mirage that okay stop right at the exactly. bottom right there stop right at the bottom right there okay that's the top of the sun It, well, they 
they want to say that it's it the sun's already set and we're just seeing a uh, no i get a that yeah, I image get, of it right yeah i get that yeah um and i don't see it like that at all um only because i've i've done so many of these and seen so many different uh um <laughs> effects that occurs here i mean i've had it where you know this will bulge up the yep. mirroring will yep, yep, up yep, yep, right yep. It's it. like a yeah, yeah. It's like um, almost like an energy reaching out to uh, another part. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Uh, yeah. But this this was on a on one of those days again where visibility was really good, and I mean you can see um, these clouds here. Now what I've what I've noticed too is um, you know when you get to this area in here it's more like the light is bending upward and there's still mirroring occurring but that mirroring is just a little sliver way out here yeah the acute I, angle i always find that there's some kind of mirroring occurring no matter if it's mirroring here you know where you cannot see any of this water but it mirrors really right here and again you get that um it'll be like the mirror image of the sun bows up right here i had a good one that i put out not long ago where you know it, it, it you can see the whole sun practically come right up and meet yeah but, that's great well that would be interesting i'd love to see that but think about this though too david right because their science is so precise go to the dark band in the middle down below down below right there right there that dark band right there. Can can you please draw a, a write out your mathematical equation for that, please? <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, we don't know what that distance actually is right here, so we wouldn't be able to unless I had a marker out here, which at, in certain cases I do. Um, I've had the the sun uh, where the Bay Fort Bird Rack was right here or the Cutter's Rock bird rack was right there, um, or the North rack was right here, okay? And I should not be able to see um, the Cutter's Rock at all, or the North rack at all, at the height that I'm filming from, because again, I'm you know, really doing a lot of uh, 28, 30 inches uh, camera height um, observations to, um compare with other observations at the same height and there is just totally i mean you could not calculate that travis that i mean there would be no way that you oh, could calculate yes you can david of course you can <laughs> yeah they say you can but um honestly you would have to be some kind of a mathematical genius um and know exactly all these distances i mean to yeah. the very last inch to calculate it out to be so precise yeah. and i i don't think yeah. anybody's yeah. able to do I that agree. yeah i'm gonna let this go down a yeah, little yeah, bit do that. yeah have it, it, while this it's, one gets really interesting yeah while it's playing have you uh captured the green flash yet yeah it's in here okay yeah, that's awesome. I um, happened to catch it one day only. And look and at I all this doing... distortion. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I was uh, doing a time lapse and right toward the end, one frame caught the green flash and I was just like, wow, wow. Yeah, that's yeah this, this has got an awesome, awesome green flash in it. Uh, I was watching it because I was trying to pick out a couple of videos I I wanted to show and you know you can you can actually see you can see the green flash right now at the top it just happened this mirroring right here you can see this mirroring and that's the light green, bending upward not downward green flash I mean, the green uh, flash is happening all at the top of the sun right now yeah yeah it. it gets even better though <laughs> uh, yeah you see it yeah yeah Oh, that's great. Wow. And and I and I do. I have a passion for this. And then look at the birds too. Yeah. I mean, 
you can see these birds clear out here. Look, yeah. there's a bird right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the size difference of them. Um, and that's why I say, you know, on some days, boats I see them way out here, and then other days you never, you can't even see the boat because of the mirror yeah. effect. Yeah. And there could be a boat out there, but the mirror is blocking it. See, I say, I, I say the sun is actually here. That's exactly, <laughs> yep, that's exactly, I have a video that does that. Yep, I have a video where I, I show that. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I think the sun's here, and we're just getting a big distortion of light yep. and magnification of the sun, because yep. a light will magnify a lot more than just a, some, a closer object. Yep. Um, now watch, watch, watch right here. Watch right here. See the yeah, clouds in the air? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is light actually, the where I see it, this is light bending upward, blocking out even more of the horizon. But watch, watch the green in this. <laughs> Oh wow, that is beautiful! Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for my son uh, real quick. You guys you guys keep talking, but I'm gonna go on mute and look for my son real quick. Yeah, earlier on um, today, or whenever I was talking to White, he was saying about the differences when he takes the pictures, like you were showing today. Like you go out, same point, same time, same day. You know, next day, next day, next, mm -hmm. and you get all these different pictures. That is just reflecting light. Yeah, I get that now. And, you know, another thing is everybody says, oh, th these clouds up here are, um, you know, getting lit from underneath. Well, why aren't these clouds lit from underneath? And I've had the sun up here and these clouds down below were lit from underneath. <laughs> they're, they're all red. And, you know, they're trying to say that uh, they're being lit from the sun from underneath. No, because the sun's above the clouds. I've even had the sun behind clouds where the, the clouds below it were lit up red. So, you know, that that to me is just misinformation from Globers. How many that miles away do you think it is, by the way? Excuse me? How many miles away do you think that is when you were filming it? Um... <laughs> You mean how far the sun is? Yeah, how far away where that bit you've got your cursor on? How far away do you think that is? Oh, I, I think that's, uh, um, I think this was the night I, I could see um, Cutter's Rock too. So, um, you know, that's over 11 miles where the, where the surface of the water is. But again, this up here is, is just mirroring. So, you know, honestly, I think a lot of this is mirroring itself above. Um, so we're we're not really seeing the true horizon line. Um, we're just seeing the visible water line here. But all of this is mirrored and bent light upward. I mean, some of the uh, videos I've done, too, of the mirroring clouds off in the horizon is just amazing, too. And there was... Uh, um, the bird rack right there and you can see i'm i'm fairly close to water and look at the chemtrails that's another thing man we were hammered with chemtrails a couple of days ago i mean all day long and it was like i'm working and i'm and i even took out my phone my cell phone and and you know took some video of it and i'm like wow you know this is just ridiculous uh, everywhere everywhere i looked there was chemtrails and they were just lingering and by the end of the day the sky was just all milk all milky clouds and you know I, I'm always wondering what <laughs> what are we breathing out of this stuff that they're supposedly trying to combat global warming with because that's Bill Gates thing right he he's saying oh we're combating global warming <laughs> how can we be combating global warming when actually what they're doing is they're creating a greenhouse effect yes uh, 
now. I don't know if I can find another. Uh, it's like, just for the normal, well, not normal, just for someone like me, you have to change your whole perspective. I have to become like a cameraman thinking now. But I get what you're saying, so it's okay. Yeah. Now, I mean, you People can... People don't think of all those things when they're taking it, do they? That there's a mirage there or mirroring effects going on. Or do you think that boat's getting cut off lower on the lower hull? <laughs> it's, it's not. Uh, and this boat is... Uh, this is full zoom. This boat is at least eight miles away, uh, six to eight miles away, e easily. I can say that. And, you know, I always love the birds when they fly across in a line. It always gets me. And you look at all the birds out there too. I mean, you see the birds up close. And these birds that are uh, up close are actually way to hell out there too. By the way. They're not right in front of me. So do you no, think do you think the camera does things to, to things then? You know, like if like Travis was saying, well the camera doesn't know what to do, so on that bit of film, you know, his pictures, do you think the camera's doing things? It's the programs they've put in. Well, yeah, because you know, it's when you get an object that's getting magnified that the camera doesn't know which numbers to put to it, whether it's the uh what was that, 428 and 357, um, something like that, Travis. So, you know, when you, when you look at what Travis was showing, it just basically is telling me that the camera don't know what to make out of it. So it just tosses a number on it saying it's, it's this zoom or it's that zoom because of the different uh, magnification that you're going to get caused from weather conditions. Um, and actually, what are the weather conditions? It's evaporated water in the air, right? The more water you have in the air. Now, um, I believe that that rack right there is the, um, I want to say, uh, cut, not Cutter's Rock, but, um, geez, uh, Billy Steele's rack, if I'm not mistaken. Could be, uh, it could have been cut. How many miles is that out? Um, seven something miles, um, or if that was the um, the north rack, because I'm not sure where I started this video at. Um, if that was the north rack, it's eight over eight miles away. Right. And, you know, I, I got to say this. Uh, when I first started doing this, I did uh, a long time ago. Uh, misidentify one of the racks because it was not on my navigation map and you know when I was looking at it I'm like you know thinking oh okay it's this one which would be Billy Steele's but there was a rack in there that they didn't have in the chart that was the Hernando Beach rack um, and that's like six something miles away and I, I was picking that up and I confused it with the Billy Steele's rack um, but which confused me with Cutter's Rock Rack. Okay, I was calling Billy Steele's Cutter's Rock, um, the uh, Hernando Beach Rack, Billy Steele's. Um, but later on, when I realized this, um, I actually showed one of the original videos and I had Cutter's Rock, I had all the racks in there in that one video. And again, Cutter's Rock was at, uh, you know, 11 miles, over 11 miles away which at six feet, I, I should not be able to see it because it only stands 14 to 16 feet tall, depending on the tide. But you hmm. see the, the distorted water line, the distorted edge. Um, when I get to the, when I get back to the boat, look at how the water's edge is being distorted upward and starts blocking out the boat. And that's just a light bending upward. And beyond this boat is just, it's just mirroring the sky. Um, that's your mirage uh, yeah. point yeah. where everything's mirroring. Yeah. You want to share your screen? Yeah, I'm ready. I didn't want to, uh, I didn't know where no, I was coming I'm, into uh, your conversation. So, uh, but I found, I found my, check um, your stuff. my video. So I'm going to close this out. And uh, thanks for that then stop sharing
Um, I, I wanted to do that so I didn't mess around with my hard drives again. I, I, I got scared because I got a lot of information on those two hard drives. They're two four terabyte hard drives. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> I, I just bought my second uh, hard drive. Sweet uh, right ago. there. Wow, look at that picture, buddy. Nice. Uh, listen, listen, this is... Um, look at the visibility. Is, wow. Oh, oh, yeah, this is absolutely... So this is what... what I could say to the ballers, suck it, because this is a good, clear image, right? Oh, dude, I've seen I've seen this before. Yeah, clearing days. Yeah, and that is sucked down in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So this is my background. Listen, when when spring comes up. I have so many images of this where it's just this beautiful uh, refracted uh, watercolor. I call I call this my Monet shot because it looks like it was a picture painted by Monet. Not this one, but when when all of these colors just bleed in together, it just is absolutely. I love it. Absolutely love it. But um, I found my uh, my shooting the Channel Islands. This is from um, uh, the middle of November of last year, and this is a sunset that I caught on the Rincon Parkway. You guys can see my my screen. Yes. Okay. Yep. Nice, nice. So far, yes. Oh, now I, what happened? I, I don't know. There you go. Okay. Awesome. Absolutely okay. awesome. Look at that. So, yeah, so <laughs> right now, so right now we have uh, three different layers. We have this darker layer here. Can you see my mouse? Yep. Okay. We have the darker layer here, and then we have this thin layer here, and then we have the apparent sky. But what we have here as well is an asymmetrical shape, right? This is not symmetrical because this part is compressed. This part is very uh, angular. And so exactly. I'm going to I'm going to put the point of demarcation up here somewhere. So right. whatever's right. happened whatever's happening up here that's not sky. This is not sky. Oh, okay. That's mirroring. This here is not the sun. This is not the sun. Now the thumbnail for this video that I put out and I I'll give you the link for it Karen in a minute. But the thumbnail I overlaid a circle and I said I uh, something like so you think this is the sun and I put the sun right here up up high because it's going away from us but the at the aether band I almost said the bad word the aqua. aether band is aqua. Uh, I like aqua yeah anyway so uh what yeah yeah just watch this this is not going to have a green flash but I think it's got an aspect of beauty to it that I was really impressed with now let me start this. Got this glitch. Yeah, I was gonna say, what the hell? It looks like it's melting. <laughs> okay, so at some point right here, you're gonna start to see the the sun get mirrored. Okay, here we go. I give you a little clue. Look at the horizon. I slowed it down, and I said, "Do you see another band or a duct right here?" Right. Yeah. So I slow. I slow it down, and I zoom in. Okay, so just what David was showing us, this dynamic thing that looks like water. Now, the sun is not going down. It's going away. It's back here somewhere. Did you see the one I have that looks like a hot apple pie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I have a couple of them that are really, really unique. 
All right, now here we go. Ready? Here we go. Here comes the magic right here. Okay, right here, right here, right here. There's a mirror. See it? Now it's going to grow. <laughs> yeah, that's a unique one. Yeah, wait for it, bro. Wait for it. Okay, listen. According to the heliocentric model, the sun is eight minutes ahead of us. And this is not, the, this is where the sun was eight minutes ago. Okay? So yeah. all, all I'm going to say to you is, I, okay, look, I'm not going to say anything right now except for this. Watch when this disappears. Okay? Watch when this disappears. <laughs> the reflection remains. Nice. That's a good one, Travis. Thanks. And that should have dropped like a rock already, but look at it lingering, lingering. You, you listen, you haven't even seen the best of it yet. Wait, wait. I've got one that does similar to that too, Travis. Okay, now, Very look. now look, the source of the sun, the sun is gone. Yep. Where, where is this coming from? Because the sun is not really gone. We can't see the physical sun, but we're seeing its reflection. Okay, listen to me. Off. Can I can I put something in the mix? Hold on, it's, hold on. Like when, you, when, on. You were when, when you were talking about that stuff, I just remember on 9-11, this guy was about, I don't know, a couple of miles down river. And then his camera delayed the sound because it originally happened four or five seconds ahead and it took that much time to get back to his camera but he could still film it even though in sound he was forced five seconds behind is that what's going on in these pictures the same sort of thing like you're saying that's that sun was there minutes ago now it's it's changing so we're seeing something seconds later This is this is now gonna last for two minutes. The sun has set. Yeah. I've zoomed in all the way. If I zoomed out, I don't know that you would be able to see this because it would be so acute. But but from the time Karen started talking about the 9-11 the thing, a little bit before that, this has been going on for two minutes. Yep, I've got one that it, it seems, I think you even commented on it, going, 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 going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it takes, it like takes forever for that light to vanish. Um, for me, I, I am seeing the sun still reflecting off the surface of the um, aqua band. Yeah. Now, I don't always catch this. It doesn't always happen like this. I was really, this is the first time I saw it linger. Oh, I just thought it was long. something as well. It's not actually disappearing. It's just going across the water, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just getting smaller. Yeah. Yep. I never thought about that. I was just thinking, oh, look, it's getting smaller. But it's actually still traveling. So it's just getting further and further away. That's correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. That's, that's exactly it. Wow. Yeah, that's a long, long time. Okay, so look, it just it just stopped at uh, what 545. Let's go back to when it started. Right. I'll say right there. Two minutes. That's that was two minutes. This band right here 
took two minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, can you please show me the mathematical equation for that? Thank you. <laughs> you know what it looked like when you're always in that photograph, that film like that? It actually looks like the sun is somehow behind, well, sorry, that thing is behind that cloud and that cloud's doing something to the picture. Yeah. It's not cloud, whatever it is, that skylight. Right. Right. I'll tell you, um, um, Space Buster, or not Space Buster, Don't Spear the Truth to his second channel. Um, he just put out a video. It's like two hours and 37 minutes long. It's a long video, but he's, 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 he's got a good compilation of flat earth proofs. And um, what is it, about 43 minutes into it, um, this guy comes in and, you know, he's, he's talking about refraction and uh, calculating refraction. And basically, he's debunking their their math because if you use their math, it just doesn't, it does not always fit. And it, it would have to be, um, again, um, what I call fudge factor all the time. You know, you got to add this number in to yeah. triangulate the sun from you know california to florida um but when you add that number in you're adding in the curvature but if you take that curvature out yeah yeah um i i, I think it was it the moon or the sun that they were doing uh i think it was jaronism said it was approximately uh you know 3400 miles away well when they right. took that number out that they were adding in guess what yeah, yeah. they come out to about 3400 miles yeah yeah um so i um I, I wish I could figure out how to finish this joke. I, I, I have this joke in my mind of, of me and a baller sitting on the beach and looking at an island like 20 miles away. And, and I say to the baller, hey, how about you do your math and I do mine and we'll see how close we get. So we, we, do, so we look out, we can see the island, blah, blah, blah. And we do our math and we show each other the math and it's exactly the same. And then he said, oh, wait, I forgot to add in curvature. <laughs> but the joke is, for those who understand, you're going to still see the same thing. You're still going to see the same thing. Even if you do curvature and I don't, we're still going to see the same thing. Well, you, you heard the, the, the rat joke, right? I don't know. One rat said to the other rat, hey, man, you getting vaccinated? And the other rat said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. they haven't even finished the human trials yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw your, uh, I, I saw that from you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I actually linked the video of uh, doctors. Uh, there was a, a quite a slew of doctors that were. Wide awake. Uh, yeah, Wide awake. We can't, I'm not we gonna can't go say into, that much. I'm on two strikes on Sun and Moon. I'm not. I'm not going to say um, the the wrong word, uh, but okay. they were they were given their opinion on it, and of course um, I, I did near that video, and it got taken down within five minutes of me putting it up. But where I got the video from, it stayed up on his channel for a while, and then they eventually took it down. Well, you know what's too. funny, guys, is uh, uh, conspiracy music guru got his video taken down his last video taken down um what is it called uh if you guys can remember not enough evidence right you don't there's not enough evidence to convince these people the fact checkers so, so he his his video got taken down he can't play it well he shared it on uh facebook and i copied it i uploaded it to my channel it's still up well so it's yeah because youtube are biased that's why you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, what I don't like is that they've turned into um, controllers, not YouTube. I mean, YouTube was supposed to be about us and, yeah. you know, presenting our free freedom of speech and yeah. our freedom of expression. Yeah. But who did they attack first? Who, who, who really started getting canceled first on from YouTube? The Flat, Earth, flat Earthers, right? I mean, they came right out in public and said that they were going to start hampering flat earth videos. And yeah, but you know I what? Google, Google who owns YouTube is the, is, is the globe. Yeah. Uh, just Google Pfizer's criminal history too. 
Google it for yourself. Uh, if anybody has, in the audience is listening, I don't know how many people are out there because I don't have the, the chat thing pulled up, but um, Google it for yourself and then ask yourself, would you trust him? Wait, are we live? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay. But, but it's going yeah. on the premiere. Yeah, yeah, Karen, that's great. That's great. Did you say anything that um, you know might get you a strike? Please, please delete it out of the video. I, I won't no, have. It's not that wide awake. Wide awake. A few weeks ago, they gave me a strike for medical misinformation. But RT yeah. News, I took it from RT News, who has still got it up. 260 odd thousand people have watched it. It was live streamed and they've been paid for it. And I get done for medical misinformation. Yeah, it, it does. I don't understand how. Yeah. They're... yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you didn't pay your dues, Karen. That, that radio station, that TV station, they paid to be able to say that. You didn't pay, my sister. You didn't pay. Yeah. But hey, listen, the two of you, uh, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you. It has been enjoyable. And uh, anytime you're going to be doing this again, if I have the opportunity, I would. Oh, yeah, we've been going out. for an hour and 20 minutes. That went really quickly. Yeah, so, it did. It did. I gotta, and I know my uh, my dinner is going to be going ding, 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 uh, yep, the dinner yep. bell. So. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Should, should we? Because obviously you've said quite a lot. Um, should we end now, but just say goodbye to each other when I stop recording. So thank you so much for your time, Travis, and thank you so much, Wide Awake. Mwah, mwah, and chat room. Mwah. Thank you for being with us. Love to you, Karen. Yep. Love you too, Karen. And uh, you be safe out there. I, I hear other things happening around your area that kind of scares me. Oh, I know. Anyway, I'm going to press the button. I love you too, Wide Awake. <laughs>